welcome, welcome to the grand semi-final of the Super Mario Challenge. Action-packed stuff here. We are down to the last four of the very best Super Mario players. We're playing Super Mario Bros. 3, and before we start, I want to uh, ixnay some rumors here. Uh, people have been seeing this, this little hair coming down here. I've been accused of wearing a hairpiece. This, look, me, all mine. Okay, let's get this over with. Right, we're going to start our grand semi-final. Two more matches, and then off to the final to find the finest Super Mario player in the world. Who do we got? We've got Jordan. Jordan the Iceman. How you doing, Jordan? Back again. Fifth time back. Are you ready to do this? Yeah. You gonna win this competition? Yeah. Hey, hey. Alan. How you doing? He says he's gonna win. He's not. Alright. You ready for this? Yeah. Alan was showing me some magic tricks. You can do some magic here. Do you have any hobbies? No. No. That's it. The man, he's a nice man, I'm telling you. He just sits there, he plays Super Mario Brothers. Dangerous he is. Right, on with the game. This is round one. Round one is the speed round. The speed round, of course, is the, is the speed. We've watched this so many times, you know. It's the first person to get to the end of the level. Whew, this is exciting stuff. We're getting down to the wire here. I can't wait. You ready, Jordan? Yeah. Are you ready, Alan? Yeah. We're playing World 3. Uh, level, what level are we on? Eight. Eight. Eight? All right, World Tree Level 8. On your marks, get set, go! And they are off and running Jordan and Allen playing Level 8. This, of course, is a water world. This is one of those rising and lowering water worlds. Very dangerous with Big Bertha down below. You see it coming back and forth. Big Bertha is capable of swallowing you whole. So watch out. Do not die. This is the secret. Do not die. If you die, it will slow you down. Jordan and Allen, they look pretty well neck and neck here. This is one heck of a race. Neck and neck they've gone through. It's going to be really close. we got Jordan and Allen coming up to the end. There's still some more to go coming up here to the screen. We have him here, and he was a... Jordan, Jordan, is that correct? They were so close, I'm not quite sure what kind of a photo finish. We're going to check who got it there. Jordan did get it, absolutely. I thought he did well done here. Toss that out here. Toss it out here. We had to check the photo finish. That, that was the closest speed round we have ever done, Alan. Whew. These are the semifinals, and in the semifinals, we're going to be seeing some serious, serious Super Mario gameplay like you just saw there. Uh, but before we continue on to round two, we're going to show you some more of those famous, world famous Super Mario tips. Right, this is World 2, Level 5 in Super Mario Bros. 3. This is how to find a feather uh, after you come out of the coin room. You'll see. You come out of the coin room in this world, there are four blocks there, one, two, three, the fourth one, there is a feather in. Um, always worthwhile getting a feather, that makes you a Raccoon Mario, and that example, of course, he was already a Raccoon Mario, so it didn't help all that much, but uh, if he wasn't, he would have. You understand. Anyway, we're going to play round two. Round two, as you know, is the points round. Three whole minutes you get uh, to play as many levels of uh, Super Mario Brothers as you can. In those three minutes, the person at the end with the most points wins. These two guys have been here many times before. They are excellent Super Mario Brothers three players. They know exactly what they are doing. Are you ready, Jordan? Yeah. Are you ready, Alan? Yeah. On your mark, get set, go! And they are off and running. Jordan and Allen are off and running. Three whole minutes of this. Three whole minutes to play Super Mario Brothers and to get as much as they possibly can. Right. They're off and running. Uh, 400 points over here for Jordan. 600 points for Allen. So it is a close match. It is anybody's. This, of course, is the pipe level. The pipe level is... Uh, the pipe level um, is a pretty dangerous one because it has these horizontal... Piranha plants. Now let's see, I'll, I'll show you here where we're talking about. If you take a look at Jordan, well, Jordan's jumping up here. He's taking... Oh, Jordan just got a, got a power up. Um, sorry, my, my brain's not getting around this today. I'll concentrate here. One, two, third points here for Jordan. He's waiting on the block. He's going up now. This is what I was talking about. These are horizontal piranha plants. They come out of the, those tubes sideways, and they are very dangerous. As you can see, Jordan just got hit by one. Uh, one of the problems is, is it's so precarious jumping up here. Uh, it looks, doesn't look precarious when these guys do it because they're so good. But when you fall down, you can land on those horizontal piranha, piranha plants very easily. Not a lot of room to jump in this area here where Jordan is, um, but 
<laughs> These guys play so well, it looks very easy. Let's take a look at Alan over here. One minute and 45 seconds left. They're both at around the, the 3,000 point mark, except Alan just got killed by one of those horizontal prana plants. Jordan has come to the end of the level. You can hear the cheers now. Um, this, of course, gives him a bonus. The bonus you get when you finish a level is all of the time you have left then gets added to your score. It is in the tens of thousands the bonus you get, so well worth finishing levels. Uh, 15,000 over here for Jordan, only 3,400 for Alan, so that shows you the difference between finishing the level and not finishing level. Alan picking up uh, a Koopa Trooper shell to, to toss around in those horizontal piranha plants, but it backfired on him and it ricocheted and hit him. Very good. Jordan's down to a, a coin room. Now this, this is an interesting level in, in World 7. This is a, this is a maze. One minute left! One minute left. This is a maze world. Uh, in this maze world, you, you have to kind of go underground, overground, and find your way in and out. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that Jordan knows his way around. Alan, if you look over here, you can't see him because he's in a pipe. He has come out of that pipe. 45 seconds left, 45 seconds left. Alan, once again, trying to get to this level he's having so much difficulty with. He has decided not to bother to get the power up. It was causing him problems. Up to the maze, now these horizontal piranha plants. Very, very dangerous indeed. 30 seconds left, he's up. Now, this is where we have problems. These um, bouncing these up there through, these bouncing uh, note blocks are very difficult to stay on. This, I find, is a very difficult level where Alan is now. If you jump up on these Koopa Troopers, there's not much to have, there's not much place to jump and get out of the way. They can cause you troubles. Alan, uh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it right there. Hit those pause buttons. Let's take a look. Now, Alan with only 4,420, and Jordan definitely the winner with 17,650. Yeah! yeah. Right. Toss over here, not the one, but the two. One, two, three for you, Jordan. Well done. Alan, nothing, not over here. You know what the difference was? You didn't get to the end of that level. When you finish a level, you get a lot of bonus points. Uh, when you get those bonus points, that does make the difference. So on a points round, you should definitely finish a level. Okay. <laughs> We're off to round three. The excitement is buzzing behind me. Uh, round three is, of course, the way the game should be played. Now, you get a thousand points for every live you win, and this is a bonus at the end. You also get your points at the beginning, but you also get a thousand points for every life you pick up. We take away a thousand points for every life you lose. So we give you four lives to start with, so that's four thousand points we hand you. We also give you a bonus for your gold coins. You get ten points for every gold coin. So. Lives, points, gold coins. It is a one level round. We are playing Super Mario Brothers 3. This is World 5. This is level 3. We are off and running. Are you ready, you guys? Yeah. On your mark. Get set. Go! World 5, level 3. World 5 is, of course, a. Uh, I was going to say it's a giant world, but I'm not quite sure. No, of course not. This is a great level. This is one of my favorites. And the reason it is, it is the only level in all Super Mario 3 that you can find the boot. There, you can see on Jordan's screen is the boot. If he was to go underneath, uh, wait till that boot jumps on top, hit that boot from underneath, he can then jump inside the boot. When you jump inside the boot, it is the only time you were able to step on spinies. Um, there's another boot there. Uh, will he hit that boot? He did, and uh, he looked like he picked it up, so he got bonus for that. But anything he jumps on, nothing can hurt him from underneath with that boot, but he can still get hit by the side. You can see how Jordan there is jumping on those little chompers there, and it doesn't hurt him. He's jumping on piranha plants. It's a great thing to have. Right, Alan over here is uh, zipping through. He is waiting, uh, dodging fire. He did dodge the fire. There's the boot. He is in the boot, and he is going through as well. Jordan has just jumped off a cliff. He has died. Uh, he will have to go back and start again. Uh, Alan zipping through here. This this is not a time round. We don't care how long it takes. Well, we do actually. We give you three whole minutes to finish this level. So if you don't finish in three minutes, uh, we will have to stop you. And that would be a shame because if you don't finish the round, you will not get the points for the bonus and that will definitely make the difference. Alan just picking up a life over there while he's bouncing around in his boot. Coming up to the end there, Alan zipping down. Uh, not actually to the end, this is of course halfway through, you zip down to the bottom levels. Alan zooming around, trying to get coins, trying to get as many points as he possibly can. 
uh, not worrying too much about those spinies because you can jump on them. But if the spinies hit you sideways when you're in the boot, then of course you're in trouble. A brilliant level. You can't hold on to this boot. You cannot take it on to any other levels. You can't find it on any other levels. Only on 5-3. Uh, there's uh, not much time left, I imagine. We're getting close to the wire. There's only a minute left, so make sure you guys finish these levels here. If you don't finish these levels, you don't get your bonuses. Uh, very excellent Mario Brothers players. Let's take a look at scores. Uh, 8,009 over here. Uh, 5,050 over here. Uh, Alan has finished the level. Jordan has just taken a hit. He has lost his boot. Very dangerous ground for him. 45 seconds left. 45 seconds left. Jordan is coming up to the end of this level as well. Through the pipe he goes. Alan is holding it right there. Jordan is zipping through. Uh, scores are different, but we will not know until uh, we will let the, the time tabulate over here for Jordan's, and then we will figure all the scores in right now. Alan ended up with 16,350 points, four lives, 27 gold coins. That gave him a grand total of 20,620. Jordan had 21,760 points, five lives, 40 gold coins. That makes him the winner with 27,160. Yeah! yeah! Oh, one, two, three, one, a clean sweep over there makes you the winner. You're going to be a finalist. Well done there, Jordan! He was so excited, he almost smiled there, folks. Jordan the Iceman almost smiled. Unbelievable. Uh, Alan, what can I say? Congratulations for getting to the semis. You did a great, great job. Well, well done. One heck of a Super Mario Brother player. We got good prizes for you. And, well, it's always a prize for you just watching the Super Mario Challenge. Make sure you join us next time for more semi-final action on the Super Mario Challenge!